Hello everyone, this is Eric with Lifesaver Leads, and today we're going to show you how to use the new version of our Lifesaver Leads platform. Just like our, our original version of Lifesaver Leads, you can still search for consumer and business lists. So we're gonna go ahead and start there. With the consumer list search, you can now select which info you want to download to your spreadsheet just by selecting the different categories here. For example, you can search by county name, age, birth year, birth month, birthday, and credit score. You can also search for email addresses and IP addresses as well. But like the little uh, mark shows here, if you do search by email address or IP address, it will reduce the amount of data you get at the end. So something to keep in mind. So uh, after you select your info to download, you can go to your filters where you can select the filters you want to uh, initiate your search by. First off, you can select the state you want to search in. After you select your state, our states in this case, you can also narrow down your search by specific cities, counties, or zip codes. You can even search by area code as well if you only want phone numbers from a specific area code. You would just simply type in the city name if you wish to search by city, or you can type in the zip code. But if you want to search just the entire state, you can just leave the other geographic filters blank. Further down, you have your housing filters. You can select the homeowner or renter status. You can also search for specific dwelling types, either multifamily or single family dwellings. You can search whether the customer has a pool or not. And you can also search if there is a veteran in the household. Next are the phone filters. First off is the do not call option. If you want to make sure the list is scrubbed against the national do not call list, you can hit the yes on the do not call option, or you can do no if you do not want it to be scrubbed. You can select the phone type to be either landline or cell phone or both. So if you want to only get cell phone numbers, you can do cell phone only. And same thing for landline. Further down, you have your consumer filters, like the age of the client. You can search for a specific age range just by selecting from and to. Or if you're doing turning 65 lists, you can also search by birth month and birth year. You can just simply select your birth year select your birth month. You can also narrow it down by a specific birth day if you want to. You can search by marital status, whether they're uh, married, single. You can search by gender, whether they are a traveler, a pet owner, a smoker, or if they're a charitable contributor. Further down, we have some additional language and ethnicity filters. So you can search by specific language. You can search by specific ethnicity. You can also search by specific religions as well. And then lastly, you have your financial filters where you can search for options like credit rating, net worth, and you can choose multiple ones, uh, whether they're an investor in real estate or investor in stocks. And then of course you can also select their income range and just check mark the options you wish. Now you can save any of your search filters that you do. As you can see on the right hand side here, it displays you what your current filters are. And you can even save your filters as a template by clicking Save as Template. You can then enter the template name. And in the future, if you need to quickly pull up the search filters you were, uh, were searching by again, you can click View Templates, 
and select one of your template uh, filter templates to pull up. Now, if all your search criteria on the right looks good, you can just hit the get record count button at the bottom. That'll tell you your total count of records from your search. And then down below, you can give the list a name. And then choose how many records you wish to download. For example, I want all of 837, so I'm just going to type in 837. And then hit the create list button to pull those records fra from that list. It'll then bring you back to the main page where I'll begin to process your download. Usually only takes a full second, a few seconds. And then once it's finished, you can hit the download button to save a copy of any one of your spreadsheets to your computer. Now, uh, for business lists, we're going to go ahead and cover that next. For business listings, just like the consumer listings, you can choose the type of data that will be downloaded. You include name, address, phone number, sales volume, SIC code, as well as make sure it includes a contact name. You can then select your geographic filters, like your state, as well as you can search by county, city, or zip codes. Then further down, you have your business filters where you can select your sales volume, number of employees, and you can even search by specific industry SIC codes if you want. So for example, if you need to search for the SIC code for restaurants, you can just simply type that in and select it. You can always do a quick Google search for the SIC codes for any specific industry to get those. And then just like the consumer list button, you would just click get your record count to get your records and then give your file a name and select how many records you want to download. Now we do have a new type of lead available called aged internet leads. What aged internet leads are, these are customers who have shown interest in a specific product in the past. And this will allow you to come in and search for uh, people based on the different lead type they are. So for example, if you wanted to search for customers who have shown interest in Medicare or Medicare supplement, you can search for just customers who have shown interest in Medicare. You can also show up, uh, search for customers who have shown interest in auto insurance, health insurance, uh, homeowner insurance, as well as home improvement, solar installation, and final expense. So this allows you to search for customers in a specific area that have shown interest in that type of product in the past. Then just like on the consumer filters, you can select your do not call filters, the phone type if you need to search for cell phones, and then you can use your date of birth filters as well as um, age filters as well. Then you can just simply select your get records option. And that will pull up a list of all the customers who have shown interest in the final expense data in your area. So that is how to use the new version of Lifesaver Leads. Uh, the nice thing about the new system too is it also saves any searches you make for up to 90 days. So if you do lose any of your lists, you can come back and download them at any time just by pulling up your list here and downloading a list. So I want to thank everybody for checking out our video today. And if you ever have any questions about any of our products, you can always give our team a call. Our phone number is 1-800-662-4009. And you can call us here and we'll be able to answer any questions for you as you uh, check out our Lifesaver Leads platform. Everybody have a wonderful day and take care.